Hey there, everybody. Arlo's here from Ice Games with... Hi! It's Vanessa hey. for our um, episode with episode 16 of mm -hmm. our Let's Play Together Mesmer series, where Vanessa plays as a Silvari Mesmer, and I do my best to not lead her to astray. <laughs> <laughs> Doing my best to show her the ropes of the game and, and having some fun doing it. It's been a little while since we recorded an episode, but uh, I'm really glad to be back in Tyria with you. Yeah, there's something, sorry, there's something happening behind us, and I'm distracted. Yeah, it's just some event or something going oh. on. I don't know. The Asura got it. What are they fighting? I don't know if they're fighting. They're fighting some some uh, scales back there. They're fine. They're fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, very excited for this episode. Uh, we got a few things we want to do. Um, what was it we're going to do? Uh, number one, well... Uh, level up to 30, I think, since we're near the end of it. Yeah, really level close. Uh, and Vanessa's been, you know, you're we thinking, I'm like, oh, we could, you know, just run around a little bit or um, do some other things. But I'm like, you know what? Maybe fun to, to, to get going with the story. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually, because she hasn't used them before, but some Tomes of Knowledge. So we're going to use those to level up. There's something you get uh, when you play the game every day. You get a little login reward uh, and Tomes of Knowledge or something that you get for it. You also get it for, like, um, certain achievements and other little events throughout the game. I think you can even get some for some story mission stuff or some writs of uh experience which are these ones writs? this one's down here are writs uh oh oh yeah, writs of experience and you can bind 20 of those together to get a tome of knowledge in lion's art so you can get, get them or you can use them to get a little bit of experience okay. um actually should that we, might be enough for us should to we right now that you say that because you're almost level 29 yeah i feel like that's kind of a waste of a yeah two. all right should so we let's try use this a, yeah use a writ of experience will that give us enough okay right click it yeah, just use. Not quite. Ooh, oh. But I have one more. Yeah, let's try one more. Is it going to be enough? Hey, come on. No whammy. Mo whammy big no money, whammy. big money. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. <laughs> no no whammy, whammy, no whammy, no whammy. No whammy. Oh, oh, okay. That's okay. You'll have to go kill something. Yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll go kill something that, that little <laughs> hit the level up. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, episode 16. Really excited to be uh, back here. I know it's been a little bit of a while since uh, we've had a chance to sit down together and record. But uh, yeah, we do our best to uh, play every weekend also. Oh, it's obscured. this happens to be obscured there. There we go. Oh, no, it's still, Whoa. it's like inside okay, it. Okay, well, fine. I don't know. Oh, uh, if you go heal that person there. Oh, no, wait, someone else helped him get up. The activated thing. What does that do? Uh, some absurd stuff. You don't know. Okay, um, maybe if you get the stamp where the Asura guy is. Well, yeah, maybe, oh, the corpse. There you go. Nope. He's not dead yet. He's not dead yet. There you go. Now you're doing some damage. Uh, but yeah, me and Vanessa do our best every Sunday morning at about 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Sometimes a little later, later because uh, getting my lazy butt out of bed is hard. But uh, yeah, we kind of, kind of every 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we try to hop on, play some uh, Guild Wars 2 with you guys. Um, also, I do streaming every Tuesday at about 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Why is that scale healing itself up so quickly? I don't know. Oh, it's got like a regen on it. That's weird. You have to do all the damage. I mean, you're, you're taking it down. But yeah, um, so yeah, we do some playing Sundays. I do streaming on Tuesdays. Uh, and then uh, got some series videos still going up. Ding. Ooh, day leveled up, level up. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited because I believe, uh, I think the, the time this should be up, I believe uh, Arena is doing something this summer. It feels like where every, is it every week or every two weeks, they're releasing some of the um, uh, episodes from season two. Uh, and and me? <laughs> I'm, talking to, I'm, I'm talking to myself right this. Okay. This point, while you're running around. Uh, but yeah, so if you um, open up your hero panel for a second, that uh, should be H, I believe. Uh, and you go to Story Journal, because currently you don't have it, and look, click on Living World Season 2. So currently, like right now, those all those are locked. Mm -hmm. So after you finish the main story, all that stuff's locked. Um, and anyone starting the game now has it all locked. Uh, but I believe. I can't remember how many episodes are doing at a time, but they're letting you unlock them if you log in within those two weeks. So we'll have to make sure we can do that, mm. which is nice because normally I have to spend gems to unlock those, but uh, they're getting everyone prepared for the new expansion coming out later this year. So I'm really excited for that. All right, so now that we've leveled up, we can see so we get some eight hero points and looking for group tools. So if you want to do some dungeons, you can look for a group <laughs> if you wanted to. Uh, and now that we've done that, let's open up and use a Tome of Knowledge to get that last level. Oh, I got equipment too, though, right? 
Uh, I don't think he got anything. No, that was from the event. Oh. That's just an event. So now you just use one of those. Uh, which uh, one? Use. Use? Not item collection no, achievement? That'll show you the achievement for collecting items and stuff. So, do you want to use a Tome of Knowledge? I like how it, it makes sure that you want to, just in case you accidentally click on things. Ding! Level 30! Alright, so you can close that all out. And what do you get for this? You get Dungeon Story, uh, Ascalonian Catacombs, and then Personal Story, uh, Chapter 3 is what we're on currently. Uh, so I'm kind of excited for that. So that's where it's telling you Find what to do. You to also get some tree. mail explaining what's going on. But before we do any of that, oh, next level we get uh, elite skills. Ooh, that'll be fun. Okay, so let's uh, close that and go to your hero panel now before we get going. What we really need to do is spend those, all those points. You've got tons and 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 tons of points. Wow. 41 points. We okay, even forget so back, for a while. Back to illusion, right? Um, mm. So yeah, uh, we were kind of asking you guys, mm -hmm. uh, and everyone's kind of saying that uh, a good thing to do is to finish the illusions track down mm -hmm. at the bottom, one of the specializations. Here? No, uh, this one. That's already started. Oh. It's the one we're already clicked on. Oh, I see. This is a sub. Yeah. Thing. So okay. you finish the illusion training. Okay. All the, the top ones are all the abilities you get to use. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to unlock portals, if you can unlock portals now. Under illusion? No, I don't know which ones that's oh, in. Maybe go to signet. Uh, signets? No, that's not signets. Uh, mantra? No. And they changed. Oh, they did a bunch of changing to mantras too. I know they did some changing uh, not that long ago. Which one says manipulation? Let's blink. Uh, what's the other abilities? That's mimic. That's something else too. Illusion of life. And arcane thievery. So. Mass invisibility. What is? It's not under mantra. Yeah, I'm just gonna check signet. Signet. Uh, yeah, signets are the the passive abilities you can put oh, on. Oh, okay. And mantra. That's it. Mantras were something you like. It was an ability you used before you kind of got into a fight, and then you could use uh, the second part of it. But now they've gotten rid of that. And ah, this is a charge thing. Is this it? Portal. Yeah. Okay. You already have it. No, you don't. <laughs> oh no, you don't. So uh, train that. You want to train the portal? Yeah. Well, yeah. So what does that do? create? What? I was just going to read the description. Oh, sorry. Create create... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> you go ahead. Create an entry portal at your location and teleport allies to you the exit portal. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. That's the yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, train that. That's only four points. So now if you... if When when we need you... And so you can't unlock that one yet because that is a elite skill uh, and you don't unlock them until next level. Uh, level um, so now let's go to illusions. Uh... Uh, it's illusion training. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> it's illusion training and illusion. So they're See, both... that's why I kept getting confused when we were chatting about this earlier. I'm like, I am looking under it. We're good. We got it. And you're like, no, no, we don't. And I'm like, no, we, we totally do. <laughs> I mean, you meant illusion. That's where they're confused. Not illusion. <laughs> that is very key. Very key. That I will is. never not make that joke. Um, so, yeah, well, what we can do this. So this is your elite specialization. So uh, essentially, oh, sorry, not your elite specialization. No. This is your specialization. Uh, uh. Don't get all these specializations to level eight. No, no, that's that stuff um, here. Yeah, yeah. Um, that I haven't tipped my toe into too much, but I was going to say backing up to Mantra um, before the change, which if it was made recent, I'm going to have to re-educate myself. But there is some very interesting things with Mantras because you can, like, basically cycle it up and save two. So that, that it, yeah, that's that what the, I'm assuming anymore. that's what they changed. Uh, because so the way it works I watched, now. I'm sorry, was it Johnny's videos? Um, so I was watching many of his videos. I went like in on them and stuff. And if they change the charges, charge, that's what it was called. If they change the charges, then I'm going to have to relearn everything. Yeah. So if they nerfed it, I'm not going to put anything into it any, well, anymore. Well, it's not that they nerfed it. It's just you don't have to charge it anymore. So if you scroll over your, your healing one. So uh, you chant the mantra of recovery. So instantly healing yourself. Recite, uh, Receive increased healing if you're below the threshold. So if you're below 50%, you get more healing than yeah, you but would. But here's the thing I don't understand. It still has the two. Because you get two charges of it now. So you don't have to charge it before. Oh. You to, so now you don't have to use it before you oh, fight. Oh, 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 so oh. essentially before. Yeah, yeah. When higher level stuff, yourself. people would like, mm -hmm. before they got into like raid battles, they'd, they'd have to sit there and the mesmerers would have to use all their mantras and then go into battle. So now you can just go into battle. You don't have to sit mm. there and wait for the, your mantras to charge and stuff so like that. So let's yeah. grab that. So we grab the trait persistence of memory. 
Uh, Boon. So, we get boons from our clones. Yeah, and even like your clones, that's why we did Lucius. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I'm going to get more boons from them, so we yeah. want that. And this one is... Uh, the Pledge? Uh, can I skip it? No, I can't. No, I have, have to do to everything in an order. Yeah. So you... basically, this one doesn't seem as interesting to me because I don't use the torch very often. And what's nice is you with but... with specializations, you get to pick your specializations in your build section. Uh... But you do have to go in order. It'd be nice if you could skip some of them because some of them you're not never going to use mm -hmm. or... You know, maybe some build will use them, but... So, that just means that I'm going to move on and see what's ahead here. Yeah. So, creates an illusion. creating an illusion increases your outgoing damage and gives increased condition damage for a short duration, so okay, that's good. that one sounds good. Uh, Escape a... artist! Ooh! If you okay, gain stealth, you get it. I think I can get all these. Yep. So, if you want to, you can click on the furthest one out that you want to mm -hmm. get. So, click on that one. And then you can hit train, and it gets trains them all. Do, do, do. Now you got all three. And you see that 22 points. You're, you'll be able to get a whole bunch more. Yeah. Now, do you think we should kind of do any of the base? I, I'd say just continue on with the oh, Illusions okay. track. So... So Phantasms spawn with Quickness and gain Quickness when you create a Phantasm. Awesome. And remember, Phantasms and Illusions are, are two dip different things. Yes, I, I, I learned that in the video. I keep, I keep mm. screwing that up. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Uh, what's this one? Skills inflict torment, and torment's different now. Torment yeah. used to be where if an en enemy would take more damage from torment if they stood still, mm -hmm. now they take more damage when they're, when they're moving. moving. Yes, that's right. You yes. talked about that. And the difference. Between... Oh, sorry. It was when they're moving. Sorry. Reverse that. It was when they're moving. Now it's when they're standing still. Oh, okay. And with clones and phantasms, if I'm remembering correctly, that one everything starts as a phantasm, and then it turns into a clone. Is that? I feel like it. Alright, so this creates, so I'm just looking here. Uh, gain stealth and summon an illusion. Who attack your foe. Summon two clones. Oh yeah, clones. Because that's why I'm so very confused. Because there's, there's clones uh, and like phantasms and illusions and ugh. So basically, I'm pretty sure a phantasm will come out, do its a thing once, mm -hmm. and then it will change into a clone and continue. Oh, okay. I believe. Okay. Or it's like you just said with the other thing. It reversed the name. <laughs> but basically one of those names signifies a one-time action and then it's replaced with the other yeah. one. And okay. that's what it does for the rest of its life until it's killed, basically. And, and I'm thinking that's clone because that's kind of how a clone really would work. It doesn't disappear until you're done attacking or it dies, whereas a phantasm is... And then these are like, you create like illusionary blades and stuff like that. Do those count as illusions or are they different? I don't know. Um, right. I don't know. I don't have my notes specifically. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have the foresight to bring my book beside me here. All okay, right. let's well, do the math. Okay, 22. This one's another 5. And then this one's another 10. Okay, well, so I'm only... It, it adds them all up. Oh. Yeah, so if you click on that one's 10, and then, sorry, if you hit no here for a second, mm -hmm. and then click on the next one, no, it's 16. And what's the next one after that? Doop. Oh, it's no, 24. Okay, so you can go up to the 16 so far. That's as far as oh, you can make it. Okay. So then, bloop, 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 bloop. And then what we can do is go to your build. Which one's that? Uh, up here. Okay. Build. With the shield. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, so you can see here where he's got the path. Ooh. And now you get to pick more. So now you get to pack, pick between. Let's see here. There was this. You get to pick one of those three. So escape artist or create a clone when you gain stealth. You don't really gain stealth very much, so... I don't really think that's good for you right now. Phantasm spawn with quickness, so gain quickness when you create a phantasm. Mm -hmm. That could be good. And skills inflict, or shatter skills inflict torment on hit. Do you have any shatter skills? I want to do the haste one. You want to do the haste one? Okay, we'll grab the haste one. Okay, which one's the haste one? Oh, you just have to click on it. Oh. Yeah, you just click on it there. And now the path will go, and then you already have skills gain re recharge reduction. So all your skills gain 50% recharge reduction. And then the next three, you haven't unlocked any of those yet. Those will be the next ones you unlock, and you get to pick one of those. Which is like, oh, shatter. These are the shatter skills, aren't they? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, oh, mm -hmm. okay. Those ones. So that well, will be. Well, maybe should I have changed it? Can I go back? Uh, yeah, yeah. You can still come whenever you want. So that can give, if you use those a bunch, they gain torment. Okay, maybe I should try this first. I Maybe I can come back to this one. Yeah, Let's try and that. that's what's nice is your builds aren't fixed. You can play with them as much as you want. Well, you can uh, get eventually, more yeah. here. Mm -hmm. um, so what is it? Level 45, you get your sex, second one. And then at 71, you get 
Uh, the third one, and then at 80, okay. uh, when you have an elite specialization, it has to go in the bottom one that's gold there. <clears throat> so different loadouts, Yeah, basically. just different loadouts. Uh, and then up on the top of that, you see it says one, two, three. One, two, three. So you have different loadouts. Whoa, um, that's a lot of options. Nice. And then you basically can unlock more if you ever need to. But you oh. also have empty spaces here. So you can save specific mm. ones to the empty spaces and load them in. So have one for dungeons. Have yeah. one for when you're doing fractals. Have one for when you're doing... Same as uh, weapons. You can have a different weapon load up. I think you can have two base, and then you can purchase more in the gem store if you need to. Uh, I know some people probably do. Me, personally, I don't really need to because I don't switch enough. But, uh, yeah, definitely works for... Say you're going to the dungeon. Instead of being DPS, you're like, oh, someone else is going to be DPS, and I can be the healer, or you're a mesmer. Apparently, they're tanks for some reason. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, essentially, yes. I've seen some people use their mesmer as a, as a tank, kind yeah. of. So, it's like, I, I do so. get why... Oh, that's just telling you. Yeah, I'm like I did it there. already. Okay. Um, but yeah, you got you got a letter now, so let's get into the story. You got a letter here. So what does your letter say? Oh, that's a different letter. Never mind. <laughs> Ooh, you also had your birthday. Yeah, I did have my birthday. Let's look at your birthday. You get a bunch of items for that. Let's, let's open up your first birthday gift. So congratulations on the anniversary of your character's creation. Yay! Yay! It's been a while since we played. <laughs> and in recognition of your last year of heroic deeds in Cheeria, here is a gift from us to you. Thanks for playing Guild Wars 2. Oh, it rhymes. That's cute. So every year you get a birthday gift. So let's see what you get for this one. I can't remember you getting the first one. Uh, is it just in my inventory? Yeah. Ooh, so you got birthday one year complete. You got a mini Queen Jenna. Oh, you okay. get the queen as a mini that you can run around with. You get experience scroll, so that is if you double click on it. If you have a character under level 20, you can boost them to level 20 right away. Oh, nice. And then you got a something else, a birthday booster. So that gives you for a whole 24 hours, you get 100% boost to magic find, world versus world rank, experience from kills, and gold from kills. Just save that for now. You can use that later. Uh, Neat. So it's, uh, exit here. And let's uh, go so back guess, to my letter. No. Uh, I guess I gotta that, go to the find your way back to the. Pale tree. Oh, you gotta return to the Grofin. There we go. Go back to the Pale Tree. Be like, hey Pale Tree, what's up? Remember when they're all stacked on top of each other? I know. <laughs> all the waypoints on top of each other. <laughs> Don't be confusing, eh, bro? <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's a tree though, so. Yeah. It's allowed to be like that because it's a tree. Check oh, now you get now, so you, uh, now you get your letter. Okay, what's it say here? Uh, ooh, I'll meet Kate in. Okay, God, a splinter okay. in the flesh. Valiant, you are needed. The three orders of Tyria are locked in an argument, and the Pale Tree wishes you to settle their differences. She calls upon you to be her herald, her voice in this issue, and I think there is more here than meets the eye. Return to the Grove at your earliest chance, and I will explain. Okay. Okay, so post haste. Um, <laughs> for some reason, I'm skinning the explanation point still, even though I, I did all my upgrading. So I'm just going to ignore that if it pops up again. Uh, uh, turn around. It should be behind you, I believe, somewhere. Not That's a waypoint. Where is. I always get so confused in the grove. Oh, um, you're on. Look up for a second. I'm gonna get the, up there. Okay, so you should be close to it. Am Maybe I? not? Where are you supposed to go? Meet Kate. Oh, you're going. Sorry, you're going somewhere else. Uh, go right. Oh, sorry, left. Yeah, uh, that seed pot, I believe. Yeah, there you go. Uh, something's happening. A little animation of you flying up on the oh. seed pod. I forgot that that happened. Exit to the grove or no? Nope. Close? Nope, not yet close. So you want to talk to Kate here. I should just move around a little bit. Where is Kate? Turn around. She's probably behind you. Where is. Nope. Where is Kate? She should be here, right? Alright, so I guess, yeah, exit to the grove, I guess. That was weird. Okay, where is it telling you to go? Grove is so. Okay, keep going straight. 
Oh, you mean, yeah, it's out here. Okay. It's like, go meet her at the chamber. You go to the chamber. No, you have to meet her outside the chamber and go with her into the chamber, I guess. <laughs> That's not weird at all. Okay, now we're... Uh, just straight forward now, I guess. Oh, wait, now you get to go to the chamber? <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. There's Kate. Wouldn't be the next part in the story if I was Valiant. completely confused. The pale tree summons you. Is there a problem? It sounds like there's a commotion in the Omphalos chamber. Omphalos. Those are the emissaries of the three orders of Tyria. There is a situation. The orders of Tyria? Who are they? And what's going on? The orders are organized groups that work against the Elder Dragons. The Vigil, the Derman Priory, and the Order of Whispers. Zaitan's might is growing. Its undead minions rise on the beaches of Kryta and the tarnished coast. Why are the emissaries arguing? What am I walking into? To the north, Overlake Haven is in danger of being overrun. The Lion Guard are outmatched by risen troops. We Silvari realize that all life is intertwined. If Zaitan threatens one race, he threatens us all. Then why are the Orders arguing? Why don't they just do something about it? We think alike, you and I. Let us speak with the Mother Tree. Oh, it <laughs> just magically takes you there. Okay, good. There you are. Munition golems. You want to fight the Elder Dragons with toys and dollies? <laughs> Better than throwing away Silvari lives on a direct assault. No one's throwing away lives. Vigil soldiers are the best trained fighting force in Tyria. Valiant. I'm... Greetings, Valiant. Today you take the next steps on the journey of your wild hunt. Zaitan's forces are gathering at Overlake Haven. The Orders wish to defend the location, but their plans differ. Valiant, I name you to be my herald in this matter. The Grove can only back one of these plans. May your dream guide your decision. I am honored, Mother Tree. I will do my best. My name is Branthan. I represent the Vigil. We can have a platoon arrayed at Overlake Haven immediately. Our soldiers can handle this situation. In the Vigil, we prefer to fight our enemies head on. The best way to protect the Haven is to provide military force. You're asking to risk countless lives. Harold, the Derman Priory proposes a far safer course of action. My name is Eoworth. The Priory wants to utilize experimental munitions golems to destroy the undead. We'll have no soldiers on the field at all. Completely untested munitions golems. You're the one risking lives. What if your golems fail? And you, Emissary? You've been quiet through the whole argument. I'm Kai, and I represent the Order of Whispers. I brought this situation to the Pale Tree's attention, but I'll leave the frontline fighting to the others. Very well. Give me a moment to think this over, and then I'll decide. So you're going to be able to make a decision now. Oh. Uh, these are the three kind of main groups in, in Tyria. You're going to be talking with a bunch of them. Uh, throughout this uh, next little while through the story. So you're going to decide either to help the Priory. It uh, looks like they have a mission where they want to do something with golems. Uh, and the Vigil who want, just want to kind of smash things head on. What are golems? Golems are like the... Um, uh, they're those things that the Sura have around them. Like you the robot? Them before. Those are robot things. Yeah. Okay, robots or what was the other option? Uh, or, or just... Going with the vigil troops, the, the soldiers. Yeah, let's do the soldiers. That's what you want to do. Well, you can talk to both of them, and they'll explain okay. a little bit more about what's going on. Both of them. You talk with her. Let's see. Uh, Valiant, uh, how do you pronounce your name again? Charia. Charia. If heard impressive things about you, like me, you never turn your back on the challenge, eh? So, and then you get um, a couple options here. Okay. Before I decide, can you tell me more about your plan? The vigil squad uh, punches through the undead. Uh, sieging the Haven. Once we've liberated the Haven, a combined assault will be plenty to mop up the enemy. Um, so you can either, right now, you can select the, what this means is uh, the plan is solid, let's do it, so you're picking that one, or you can go back to ask her more questions. Not bad. What do you think of the Priory's Golems? Uh, this is war. No kitty playground time. Experiments. Bah. On the battlefield, you need 
Trust, not dabbling. I think I need some time to think this over. And then you can talk to him. So I'm glad you're considering the more innovative option. The Dormant, Dormant Priory prizes sharp minds like yours, Valiant. Valiant. Thanks. What can you tell me about these experimental munitions golems? Okay, I hate to spoil this prize, but they're exceptional. Mine laying explosive uh, repercussions ju just need a field test or three. You think they're better than the Vigil's plan? Hmm. I don't really call hit them until they're dead a plan. Why risk so many soldiers when we have golems? I need to think about this. All right, so now which one do you want to You get to pick which one to do. Yeah, I'm not going to do golems. Either. Okay, so you uh, do hers? Okay. Mm -hmm. The Vigil's plan? Mm -hmm. The Vigil's plan. Oh, you can also learn more about the Vigil. I guess we could do that, too. I see that you don't think highly of the Priory's plan. Uh, this is war, not kitty. Yeah, that we already talked about this. So if you hit back, and then you should ask for more about the Vigil. Oh. We'll go back to the main one. We have to back out again. That's all. I guess, yeah, you have to back out. <laughs> and you can ask for more about the Vigil if you want. Can you tell me more about the Vigil? The Vigil is a militia comprised of all the races of Tyria. We fight the dragons and we protect the innocent. That's good to know. I'm looking forward to, do, to learning more. All right, so now we can exit. Who do you want to move? I'm sure he'll tell you more about the Roman Priory also. Case is like, you make the decision. <laughs> can you tell me a little more about the German Priory first? All right, so it certainly can. We are Tyria's most elite scholars and archaeologists. We search for lore to use against the dragons. So they're kind of like the, 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 the learned people. Good to know. I'm looking forward to learning. Nah, I don't trust the golems. Okay. So I just yeah, pick one and then we'll do hers. Yep. Yeah. And then the Your plan is solid. Let's do it. I'm glad to see you have courage, Harold. You'll be an asset to the Haven's defense. Ooh. I'll rally the vigil troops and meet you near Overlake Haven. Don't worry, Brandon. The Priory will have our munitions golems ready if you fail. So yeah, essentially right now you're gonna be picking between this mission. So if you ever do play another Solari. Uh, you get to do the other mission if you want to. But you now you get to pick um one that looks like a shoulder pad. There. So that one gives you precision condition damage. That one's power precision. This is toughness vitality. And then some crafting supplies and some other things. I'm gonna grab the Let's see what you get. Crafting supplies, use, yay! More crafting supplies. You can just deposit those. And then the shoulder pads, let's try to put those on. And then if you unequip them, and then re equip them, they'll be the color, right? There you go. And that's an invisible bake slot. You don't need that because you already have bakes that are bigger than eight. But that one would make it so if you put special things in there you didn't want to sell, they would never show up in mail. Oh. Or in, um, in, uh, uh, at vendors, which is nice. All right, so we can exit this area. I want to see my shoulders. Ooh. You have little diamonds on them. Gems on them. Nice. Okay, where am I going? Sorry. I just have to exit. All right, the, the off your map. There's a button. Oh, right. And then I'm not sure where it's sending you to. You have to open your map and find out. Did you see anything interesting on your travels? It was all interesting. From the I guess. Oh, the uh, zoom out your, into your map even further. Move it around a bit. Where is it taking you to? Oh, it's taking you over here. Okay, so you haven't been here before. So let's just follow it. Wherever it tells you to go. So it's telling you to go through that portal. Back. 
Right in front of you here. Go on an adventure! Where is I've it? Never seen a run that fast. Ooh, Lion's Arch! <laughs> I don't think we've officially been here yet, technically, because we've gone... You did for your Halloween event. Yeah. <laughs> Neat. All right, so we popped out here. Where's it telling you to go next? I think it's telling you to go through another portal here. Yeah. Where to there is easier way to do it, but we'll, we'll, we'll go the way the game's telling you. <laughs> uh, not that one. That one. I'm pretty either. Hey, they're playing with kites. Kids are having fun with kites there. Alright, where is this one taking? To Divinity's Reach. So this is the human starting area. Starting city. The human city. Each race has a big city. We've been to Divinity's Reach before. Yeah, I think so. Stuff, yeah. I think it's my favorite city. Also big I don't human. remember it though. No, where's it telling you to go? You. No, oh, it's telling you to exit the city. If we increase where are we seeing that? Resident, you can see where. Uh, That's where you're going. You can go here. Oh. oh, sorry. Go ahead. You go to this one. Okay. Just the closest waypoint, because this would be the closest. You can barely one, see that. So you don't yeah. have that. No, it's I a know. But... Level. I know. I can barely see that green swirl. Ah. So this one will be closer. So again, you could have went a different way, but I was trying kind of to see kind of where the game was taking you. Then always follow the arrow on the top of your screen. This way? Nope, wrong way. This and way? Then, and, yeah, and then to your right. There should be a room right. Gosh, the beach reach is so big. And this will take you out. Have you started a human? Where's my pet? Oh. Oh, it's coming. Don't worry. <laughs> Just let it catch up. It's a little springer. It's a cute little springer. It's a cute little springer. You have a cute little springer. You also have Queen Jenna. We can have Queen Jenna right here. You know. I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, she's the uh, the queen of... She's the leader of the humans. Just like the... Uh, yeah. The pale tree is kind of the leader of the safari. I'm He's not, just the queen. I'm not sure how I feel about like a pet being a human. I yeah, I, I don't really. I I don't use the human ones at all. You collect them because collecting is fun. But <laughs> I I'm sorry <laughs> if anyone has a pet that's a human. That's cool. That's your journey. But I would like mine to be an animal. Thank you. <laughs> um and yeah, so if you start as a human, this is where you'd start at. Right this spot. Okay. Cool. Where is it telling you to go? Must be just be looking at right here. I think I feel like I've been in this area at some point to look for lemons one time randomly. That could be. Yeah, I was trying to up my cooking skill, which has been really fun. And oh, speaking of which, of this is oh, no, that's not a cooking station. I just thought it was. And so uh, I needed an item that didn't drop. So. Um, Ooh, oh, because it's your first time in Queensdale, you're getting the like novice explorer stuff. For yeah. Queensdale. Well, I don't think I'm going the right way. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's right down there still. Oh, so no, we... I'm going the right way. Kind of. Well, what would have been easier, and what we can still do, is if you go to this one. Oh. I'm right just curious what the game would do. Well, oh, no, not oh, really, because, because there's actually, a sorry, water. It's what? not actually there. Where is the? Is that where it wants you to go? Yeah, that's where it wants you to go. What's this? That's just, again, that would be another portal to another area. So, yeah, if you go to this Wait, one. Wait, but they're both called Sharpened Thorn. Yeah, but this is this one with the swirl. Mm -hmm. That's just telling you it's taking you to a new map. Whereas the actual diamond is... Well, that's where very that's confusing, I have to say. Yeah, I can get yeah. I get pretty lost sometimes when it's doing that. It gets it gets so much better later in the game. Don't worry. This is kind of just throwing you out throughout the world and having you explore a little bit. But yeah, I'm surprised it had you go to from the Grove to Lion's Arch to Divinity's Reach, Divinity's Reach to mm -hmm. an area you've already been before. Like mm -hmm. it, it would have had you go all through Queensdale. I wonder if that was by design to get you to explore more of a map. 
Maybe, yeah. Yeah, just follow this path. It should take you. Take you there. Path the fireflies. Oh man, I'm getting so excited for the new expansion and stuff. Excited for you to eventually, eventually get there. We'll get there. Someday. <laughs> you still got uh, Living World. Well, you still got, yeah, Living World Season 2, and then Heart of Thorns, and then Season 3, and then Path of Fire, and then Season 4, and then what I'm currently on with one of my series is the Ice Root Saga, and right. then, and then it'll be um, uh, End of Dragons is the new expansion, what it's called, so. Well, this is kind of like a human area. Ooh, what's kind of interesting, which I was really confused by, if you see this up here, um, that thing uh, up there on top of that hill, that was actually something from Living World Season 1. So it's a remnant of it, so nothing you can really do with it, but they still show up in the world. Because yeah. we can't redo Living World Season 1 stuff, because that was all, apparently most of it was like in the open world, so it doesn't make sense to have it going on still. It's interesting. I was so confused on why those things roll around. <laughs> You're gonna pick up a tree branch. <laughs> I don't know why the game has so many of that those stuff running around. Okay, how do I drop this stick? Uh, your switch weapon button, or this? Can't remember what your key binding into Z maybe? Yeah, Z. And the war doesn't even bother her. Yeah. They're good friends. <laughs> Take it down so quick. Took it down so easy. You don't need this rebranch at all. Yeah. I don't know. The world just has things like that you can pick up. Lots of broken bottles and stuff I've noticed throughout the game. I don't know why you can pick them up or what you can do with them, but. Uh, sometimes they'll be in like boss battles you'll find rocks and stuff like we we did during the when we were fighting the um eternal flame there or the flame captain oh, i can't remember what her name was flame Cap whoa what the heck did you see that just blow up in front of me down the road oh it could be explosions and stuff uh but they would give you a rock to break her um uh break bar which is nice so ooh, some herbs mm -hmm. and chop down the tree too. Ooh, a herb And now you're distracted by uh, all the gathering. Yeah. Even some roller people racing here if you wanted to do that. Oh, uh, I think I did <laughs> do. That's my least favorite, I think. I like being on the hopper. But I haven't done a water or s sky scale one yet, so we'll see. Enter the Florence. Oh, I love them. they're so beautiful, the loading screens. All right. Oh, that person's in trouble. Bad news, Harold. Looks like the Orion's got here first. of the pale tree a fine day for battle wouldn't you say so long as it's a battle we're going to win i'd agree you're fighting with the vigil today our soldiers are well trained dedicated and determined to defend Tyria. members of the vigil swear an oath to protect the innocent we are the light in the darkness we hold the line no matter what the cost that's a noble duty so the vigil is a military organization yes but we do more than just fight we also help those who survive dragon attacks and provide charity, as well as defense. Thorns! The undead are everywhere! 
We need to draw their attention from the Haven, or it'll be overrun before the rest of our troops arrive. Tell me something. Are you willing to start dancing before the band arrives? I like the way you think. Let's go buy our reinforcements some time. <laughs> oh, following me up. Uh, no, wrong way. Ah! Remember, you don't want to go into any, any red areas because I've done that so many times and you have to restart Can't the instance when you do. All. Look at right, these little things floating in the sky. That's all, like, because the undead are attacking, so it's a bunch of, like, bugs and stuff. Yeah. That's cool. It's in the, in the air around you. Yeah. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go over here. It's so weird to hear that noise and not hate it. That, like, when you put the sword through the ground thing. The circular ability. So you said uh, the enemy's using that. Not being, not playing as a mesmer. That sound I usually, I'm like, ah, oh, I hate that noise so much. That pew. Oh, I don't know what song, the sound you're talking about. I'll have to listen to it. Uh, use your three ability. That one. Oh. Oh. I'm just saying, so like, uh, I don't one think, area I don't where you fight a bunch it. of mesmers. Oh. I'm like, ah. <laughs> It's just such a distinctive noise. So like, yeah, there's a wooden plank you can pick up. Why would you do that? I don't know. But you could. Maybe, yeah. I mean, <laughs> at first I, yeah. It's just another option if you want to make things a little bit more. Oh, gosh. You have your shatter skills too. Yeah, I know. Okay. I have to have enough homes to do it. I always forget about my uh, my big abilities like that. So, so, so. Uh, when I was playing with my necromancer, I totally forgot about all those. Oh, those are um, two lines guys. That's the enemy. <laughs> Clear out Haven. I'm sure they're gonna attack again. Thank the six Who's you're here. Team? If you hadn't arrived so quickly, we'd all be dead. Don't care to talk to a human. Sprout. More Maybe. Orions are on the way. Mark my words. Who commands the troops stationed here? We need to organize the defense. Uh well, see that zombie over there? Whoops. Well then, I suppose Branthan and I will be taking over on behalf of the vigil. Yes, Commander. The gate shattered, but we still have our cannons. What are your orders? Station soldiers at the gun replacements and hold your ground here in the courtyard. You humans don't have our Silvari resistance to corruption, so stay close. If someone falls, be ready to finish them before they rise again. Don't worry, Jenks. Reinforcements are coming and everything's going to be fine. That was a nice bit of dancing, but we'll need the Lion Guard if we want to set this place on fire. All right, so you got to order the Lions Guard squads to defend key positions. You got to talk to them, I guess. Also, you notice the Lions Guard. Uh, Lions Guard, I believe they're in charge of like defending Lions Arch and then the surrounding area. So that's what they're all doing here. I serve Lions Arch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, the ones with the stars on their head. You can talk to those ones. May the six watch over. So, hello, Vit uh, Valiant. Uh, we're ready for orders. Just tell me in the ranged offensive where to go. So you want to attend the cannons, guard the courtyard, or fix the gate? Okay, attend the cannons. Line guard, man the cannons. Blast those Orions back to their graves. Right, like so consumed. where would you like the spellcasters? Do the spellcasters to guard the gate or fix or fix the gate or guard the courtyard? What do you think, guard the courtyard? Uh, probably, yeah. Hold this and then you got one more group. Who are they? Hell invaders. The little people. The Asura? Multiracial uh, let me know what foot soldiers be uh, could be of use. Prepare these gates and support the ground troops. Woo! All right. They're gonna try fixing the gate. Oh, more coming. Oh. <laughs> oh no, they fixed the gate. You can hop up and. 
of the cannon somehow? I don't know. Oh yeah, you can't really okay, you can't really use the cannon too far away. Uh, I probably just head back to the cart yard. Maybe they break through somehow. Not sure. Oh, you just have to hold out for a certain amount of time. Oh, they are breaking through. <laughs> they, and they already broke the game. Sorry, just uh, thought uh, thought we were good. <laughs> they were so good at fixing the gate, you figured they could do it again. But yeah, you'll notice there's no Silvari risen. Oh, you got a day. Oh, you see, this, they killed the abomination with the cannons. It'll hold out for another minute and a half. Cannons do their job. <laughs> you just finish them off and they get close. Nice. Oh my god. That's a big guy. Uh, they'll do an ability that'll... I mean, he died before you do it, but sometimes you only see them like lean down. That means they're going to do a charge attack that just goes straight forward. So you got to... Dodge out of the way. I always get hit by it. But your cannons are doing a real good job of taking them out. Thirty seconds. Why are these lines guards standing so far out? There we go. Uh, Run even. Okay, head back inside the. Uh... I'm poisoned. Oh, here you go. Here's your allies. Vigil showing up. Their awesome armor. Lion guard of Overlake. The vigil is. Oh, Brenton. You and the others are already here. Yeah, man. Do your job. <laughs> Ooh, who's this? Uh, I don't know. Spread Necromancers? Out and the Is it Necromancers? Well in hand. Fill in the gaps. Oh no. Your homies are here. Oh, that's a big veteran. Risen abomination. Look. Oh, see, that's the ability. Oh, I, I, see I, I, I see it. Yeah. Thankfully, it wasn't aimed at you this time. I feel like I was far enough away. Yeah, yeah sometimes it's because he's such a. It, they upscaled the model. Um, hit four, you should start healing yourself. No, everyone's ignoring you, so you'll be able to heal yourself now. You have to just hit it once. There you go. You rallied, so it's okay. Oh gosh, heal yourself. Run away and heal. Everyone else is dead. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, with the four ability to something that wants, but you'll you'll yet? you'll be dead. Don't worry. I'm trying to check one thing. Okay, hopefully it'll start from when the guys came to help us. Uh, it should. Everything should be exactly where it was. Wait, when you died? Yeah, I know. He just took everyone else out super quick there. 
Well, I didn't think it was going to hit me. I felt like I was four feet away from it still. Yeah, it's because when they when they make larger creatures like that, mm -hmm. um, they just upscale the hitbox and everything, too. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, my God, no. Can I res anybody? Uh, you can, but it takes time. And if he hits you, it'll... Uh, send your clones and stuff, and then you might be able to resurrect people if he's distracted by your clones. Oh, no, he's not being distracted by your clones. Oh, you're gonna use your six clone. Uh, your shield one. I can't escape. Why are you stuck there for a second? I'll oh, get to be aiming at him, that's why. Keep running. Oh. Yeah, but it's just going to start over in the same place. So should I just like exit and come back in and start all over again? No. Oh. It'll just end up being here. It's essentially you need, you need to fight him. He's going to kill everyone all the time. He healed himself really quick, too. I don't know what's going on with that. It's a little weird. I don't know why I'm just healing. Unless he has got an ability to heal. Oh, you can get this. You get these ones that are out here. <laughs> no, I can't. No, not those. But that was a risen here. I'm trying to raise there. These guys. And they might uh, heal the other ones when they're down. I remember this being a really tough one, too. My, with my ranger, I know it took me a few tries. Look, look at them just going. There you go. Yeah, it's not, uh, you, yeah you can't unless they've got a health bar on them. Like that one, you can visualize. Yeah, he's getting a he's healing so quickly for some reason. And they're already all dead. Seriously? Yeah, yeah you're gonna be better off just trying to kill him. Just attacking him and stuff. Okay. Heal. I don't think I can do this. I think uh, my head has to. <laughs> oh, he does regenerate health. Yeah. I think try one more time and then if it doesn't work start over and then I just don't die at all the first time. I feel like if I I had momentum and if I don't die then I might have a better shot. Yeah, he's, he's healing faster than you can do damage to him. Yeah, so my thought is to start over and not... It's not gonna... Uh, I don't think that's gonna really... Well, I mean, I think that's worth trying. Yeah, 
Yeah, that might be the only thing you can do. Okay. Let's see what this happens here. That's really, yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, it's just he regens so quickly. Right, and so the maybe only thing that... Maybe something was supposed to trigger that didn't trigger, I don't know. Maybe, but the only thing then, if it is regenerating, is to have as many people alive as possible. Yeah. So, um, Alright, well let's give it a try, and then uh, we'll uh, probably just edit it going too far away. I'll edit this to where you, where you ended at. Yeah, enter the instance. Hold your ground, Lion Guard! Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stay down here this time. Yeah, we switch it up by having the, uh, the, uh, yes. magic peoples yeah. fix the gate. <laughs> I, if that fixes, if that helps. For like two seconds. Apparently. I don't know if that makes uh, any difference, but we'll see. Nope. <laughs> I mean, they still break through, but we'll see. Uh, man, that one line guy, the char line guy, guy, really wants to like bring the fight to the enemy. minute 50 seconds again these two dying out here isn't such a bad thing because then you can rest them right easier get your defenses up are they rebuilding the gate behind you no okay well, maybe they'd be doing that. Gosh, they are just pulling forward. Oh, oh, careful. Oh, so you got out of the way that one. Yeah, I don't know why I take you there. Your work together, right? No matter what, protect this space. <laughs> and the cannons are being a bit far up about here. Yeah, so maybe maybe it did help having them different people on different cannons. Maybe. We didn't. We had the magic users on the door system. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Vigil should be coming to the gates now. There they go. You got me with them inside. Lion Guard of Overlake. The Vigil is it? Oh, Brenton. You and the others are already here. They're already here. I think it's a nice look at that necromancer mm -hmm. again. There's that big guy. Spread out, Vigil. Brandon and the others have things well in hand. Fill in the gaps. But I didn't die. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Kill one more time. Uh, 
Okay, okay I gotta go after him now. I'm, there you go. Uh, oh, wait. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Okay. I just don't want to die. Yeah, you gotta attack him, though. There you go. You got him. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why it was so much easier that time. Well done, troops. The Orions have been driven back, and Over Lake Haven is safe. Yay. Thank you. I don't know what we would have done without the vigil. Yeah, die. We saved our lives. <laughs> it's our honor to serve Tyria. We'll be here to lend our aid wherever it's needed, until the dragons are finally driven from this world. Well fought. Vigil soldiers are extremely impressive on the battlefield. Not only on the battlefield. Our recruits are taught honor as well as skill. We don't just want to defend the world, we want to inspire it. Hmm. You should think about joining us. We could use someone with your courage. I'll consider it. But tell me something. Did you notice that strange looking creature watching from the hillside? I did. I've never seen its like before. Hmm. If Saitan has created something new, we'd better figure it out quick so we can learn its weaknesses. Agreed. Let's return to the grove. Pale tree is waiting for our report. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I actually think that a lot of that was the cannons on top. You guys had them fighting outside, and I think the cannons were hitting them really. Oh, ah, you think it was because maybe, of the maybe, cannons. maybe that was it. Because how come everyone died so quickly last time, and like three people could hold them off this time? Fair oh, enough. I just have to go ahead back to the grove now. Yeah, I think that might have been that might have been it. Didn't talk to her. <laughs> how do I head back to the grove? Oh, just gotta use your map. Back to the pale tree. I go no, I can't go to here. Hey, can. Oh, oh! I thought you could like port no. directly to the green. That would be way too easy. <laughs> that would make things way too easy. You just port directly where you need to go. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Though. Well, <laughs> the only way you can do that is if you had a you can have a teleport to friend, and if your friend goes to where you need to go, oh. then you can do that. All right, where is it? There you, I think now it's telling you to go to the seed. Okay. And yeah, the uh, entrance is right outside the seed there. But I think this just took you to... Oh! Maybe. I do it right this time. Because they're right beside each other. You might have just gone to the seed, gone up on your own. Not in the instance. Oh, no. I was wrong. Turn around. Yeah, should be good. Now. Speak with the pale tree. There you go. anything about that, Branson? That's classified information. Unless you're planning to join us on the battlefield. If the vigil wants to rush off like idiots, go ahead. Our agents are a bit more cautious. Cautious? I guess that's one word for it. Uh-oh, they're arguing again. I have good news, Mother Tree. Over Lake Haven is safe. Yay! The undead have been driven away. Valiant, I was told about the strange undead you saw on the battlefield. I think I can help you. The creature <laughs> sounds like a lich. What? From the description I was given, I think I can identify it as Mazdak the Accursed. Mazdak the Accursed? I know that name. One of my firstborn, Rianok, went to destroy Mazdak many years ago. I armed him with a thorn from my own bow, a mighty sword named Kalatbolg. Both were lost, never to return to the grove. Harold, it seems you have a chance to discover the fate of my lost son, and perhaps even avenge Rianok's death. Legend says that Rianok chose a human to be his squire. If that squire survived, the Order of Whispers could find him. The Order's very good at tracking people down, even when they don't want to be found. Untrustworthy as always. I have an alternate suggestion. As you may know, the Derman Priory specializes in researching and recovering lost knowledge. This sounds like an exciting opportunity to experiment with a ritual we've uncovered. If cast, it lets you witness the last moments of a person's life. What? The mystery of Rianok's death has pained the Silvari since the days of the Firstborn. Knowing his fate would help to heal that wound. Branthen, does the Vigil have any suggestions? 
Gathering information isn't our strong suit. Instead, I'll go ask my superiors how to kill a lich. I'll meet you back here when you're done. Very well. Harold, the choice is yours. Ooh, now you get another choice. Try to find the squire with the Order of Whispers or to use a ritual from the Drone Priory to see the last moments of someone's death. Uh, should we ask people to help decide? You know what? Maybe we should. What, what, would, what do you guys think uh, Vanessa should do? Yeah. I think, we'll, yeah, I think we'll end this episode. Ask you guys a suggestion on things to do. Uh, advice on builds and stuff like that for her mesmer and all that fun stuff. But uh, yeah, I think we handled ourselves quite well. Yeah, let me know what you think. Should we do this cool ritual that lets you see the last few moments? Or... We're doing the Order of Whispers. They're looking for the squire, the human squire that uh, that person had. Yeah, Lots because I kind of like both. And I'm partial to either, so um, let let me know which option. Yeah, well, let us know which uh, which let option. Let us know. Yeah, so we'll <laughs> we'll end this episode here. We're running it about about an hour or so, a little bit of a longer episode. You know what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to every Sunday at about what 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we hop on try to play some Guild Wars 2 with you guys. And then also on uh, Tuesdays, I do some streaming for Guild Wars 2 at about 2 p.m. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, until next time. You say it with me. Say it okay, with okay. me. <laughs> okay. Keep, Keep your stick, stick on, on the ice. ice. <laughs>